where I come from, we don't have an exclusive diversity officer in the company, but I have a workforce where 30, nearly 35% of the workforce is women. Since there's a good percentage of women working here. Now, what I just want to emphasize is that gender diversity does not mean that a woman should be like a man. Woman is woman, man is man. So it's not a question of equality between women becoming a man or acting like a man to get the gender diversity. The question concept out here is that the woman should be respected, treated uh, fairly, respected, given the same opportunity, same pay scale, everything as a man. And you know, if we start making, start taking women to, or comparing it with a man, the purpose of diversity is not fulfilled. We want diversity because we want the perspective of a woman and a perspective of a man coming to the table together. And this is diversity. Because both of them think little differently. You know, they say men are from Mars and women is from Jupiter, which is true. They are two different. God has created man and woman. He did not want them to become equal. He wanted them to have their own perspective and bring everything together. So to take diversity in the true sense, it may, means that we should have treat a woman as a woman and a woman with a career objective and with women with a career plan, which is different, may be different from a man. built all managers at every level from supervisors to managers to deputy manager everybody has an HR element in it so HR as a department it cannot be treated very separately you know everybody has an HR role now as a department yes HR has few specific roles of recruiting uh, motivating you know motivation learning control attrition and yes building a culture now how does the culture is uh, how is the culture built Culture is primarily built by the top, whatever it is. So HR at high, uh, the female participation at higher level is important. If you call about gender diversity and it call about build, uh, building a culture in the society because everything starts from the top. If your boss wants it to be done, it will be done. The method will go down. You know, the use of data is very essential and Organizations are not doing well because they do not have a database. They do not have a very scientific data available. So the more data is available, it's more it's easier to take a decision. You know, maybe you say HR is a you know more of human relation part. That part also has to be based on data, like how people are. There are certain situations, there's certain time a person. It's just an example. Certain time a person misbehaves. See it late at night. We have a 24 by 7 industry. There's a period, you know, that uh, say 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the morning when the body is really, you know, very at, at its lowest uh, activity level. So if the data comes out and shows that if people are put into job at that particular period, then their productivity is very low. So this really helps in planning a shift, a shift uh, uh, pattern and, and, you know, doing something to motivate people to work on that particular time. For anything, data, I feel, is very essential.